Well, a warm welcome to you all. Um, That's about right. <laughs> Our minds are blank. <laughs> I know this. I'm JJ. I eat mostly meat, but yesterday I ate a crap ton of dairy. <laughs> and I'm a life coach. I'm Eric. I'm a novelist. I eat beef, bacon, butter, and eggs, and I did not have dairy yesterday. No, you did not. <laughs> yesterday was a weird day for us and the world. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We uh, hosted my family at our property. Mm -hmm. It was a nice visit. You were there all day. I was there a big chunk of the yeah, day. Yeah, I got there early to mow the lawn, which is large. We were near 90 degrees here in Wisconsin, which is pretty warm for us. Humidity was happening. It wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't the worst humidity we've had worse, but it was a, it was a warm day yeah. and I feel hungover today. And I don't know if it was that I'm dehydrated, it was the heat, if it was too much dairy, but I do not feel great. So I don't know, carnivore did not make me feel <laughs> superhuman today. And this is the first time in a long time where she got out of bed and then immediately took a nap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. And I slept fine last night, but things are just not working well. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> the brain is not working well. Um, I have a headache this morning. My, I was sinusy this morning and I'm bloated. Now, systems are running fine, smoothly, but just feel like I woke up in the middle of the night. I didn't stay awake, but I woke up and mm -hmm. was like hard rock stomach. That is very unusual for you. Very unusual. And, and I took this morning easy and waited and I wasn't sure I was going to eat or what was going to happen, but eventually I felt hungry. Mm -hmm. The bloat went down. Things felt normal. Everything was going okay. So I did have a nice fatty ribeye and got it down no problem. And now in the afternoon, I had that. I broke my fast early with that at about 11-ish. Mm -hmm. And now it is, what, 2.30 and I'm feeling kind of rock hard tummy again. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, just not. Maybe quite. no dinner tonight. Maybe I think I might not. I think that one steak, which was about a pound, so it was a good amount, that might be it. So I don't have that issue. Mm -hmm. I didn't eat any dairy, mm -mm. and so I was good. Yeah. Um, but I think the problem was is you had a large bowl of dairy cubes, mm -hmm. dairy cubes, also known as cheese, <laughs> and it wasn't like you were going to eat the whole thing because no. it was to be a snack and to be shared and. Uh, we had family members over to our other property, and uh, they were eating plenty of those dairy cubes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, it was just, it was hot, and I don't think we're used to just being out in the hot day all day. Not that hot, no. Um, and I did have one element yesterday, which is probably a little bit too little from the electrolyte salt standpoint. Because mm -hmm. um, I was... Uh, a little headachey last night, um, but uh, it was amazing. We we have this uh, lake uh, front area, and uh, a new dock had been built on it, and uh, a family member and their young son were there to do some fishing. And this boy, I don't think, has fished much uh, no. in the past. No, and we I've never fished off the dock, mm -mm. so it's a pretty uh, underfished area, mm -hmm. first cast within like one second, fish on. Fish on. Second cast, fish on. <laughs> Third cast, I mean, it was just <laughs> it as was... fast as they could cast, these pan fish were on the line. <laughs> Ridiculous. It was crazy. They, they didn't keep any of them. No. But you could have caught plenty to make a some sort of a little <laughs> fish fry out of it. Oh, my gosh. But typically in Wisconsin where fish fry is a big deal, um, those are breaded. Yes, that is and true. So there's that's a no go for us. <laughs> uh, but um, so th so then uh, we were uh, sitting around in the shade, you know, just having conversation. And I opened my phone. I opened my phone and checked in on on Twitter just out of muscle memory. I, didn't, I wasn't. Even, I didn't even really care. Yeah, we're having conversation. Yeah. he's like, 
<laughs> I'm like, oh, the president, ex-president has been shot. <laughs> and uh, that put a little weird twist <laughs> on the day. Regardless of what you think about him, uh, I don't want anybody getting shot um, no. from any political party. So it was, uh, it was very strange. And then my news obsession yes. kicked in like it hasn't in a long time. Understandably yeah. so, though. Yeah. Because it would be very untypical for us to watch cable news ever under any circumstances, no channel. Mm -hmm. And I had it going. Once we got home. Once we got home. And that was kind of what we had on in the background all night. But I was also on my phone because, you know, cable news doesn't actually have any news on it. You have to go to X slash Twitter to actually find out what's going on. And so I'm scrolling with my thumb like this. And then alternately with this thumb, because this one gets sore, and this was already suffering some sort of overuse issue. Um, and so uh, I just ignored that. <laughs> <laughs> As one does when they're having an obsession like this. <laughs> yeah. And so we went to bed and I continued. I don't like to do phone stuff like in, the, in bed because it's bad f for your uh, sleep. sleep. To have this light shining in your head, I actually have amber glasses to... So he can so do I, it in bed. Well, what I do <laughs> sometimes in the middle of the night is I don't look at Twitter. I look at uh, the uh, crossword puzzle game. Because if I do a crossword puzzle in the middle of the night, it puts me to sleep. I don't know why. I think it gets my mind off of things. But I, I scrolled quite late, and then I did fall asleep. And then I woke up from some nightmare, heart pounding. I don't know why. <laughs> I would have any anxiety. And uh, I was, I tried to go back to sleep and I was like thinking about what's happening on Twitter. What's happening on Twitter? <laughs> so I was like, just look at Twitter. And I woke up with the phone in bed this morning, having fallen asleep looking at Twitter. Very destructive behavior. <laughs> but I had to tape up my hand because this morning I was on my laptop scrolling <laughs> like mad through Twitter uh, just with. Uh, some sort of a OCD yeah. compulsion, very unhealthy. You have that anyways with some things, but, I mean, your parents modeled that as yeah. well. Your dad was, he was a, a news, news yeah. yeah, yeah, very much so. Yeah, so that, um, uh, we were gone so late last night, we couldn't record our typical Sunday video, and when we got home, obviously, we, I had to be watching the news. Well... We just were kind of we were wiped. Fried, yeah. We were kind of wiped anyway from the day. Because I said, we need to record a video, and you're like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I did. There was no way a we video could post was one happen. Monday. <laughs> so this may actually come out Sunday night. I don't know. Yeah. Um, but one thing is, you will notice there is no editing <laughs> in this video <laughs> because the editing happens on my trackpad laptop, and I am not doing that to myself. So. In a way, this is kind of like a pre-recorded live. <laughs> yep. Uh, I will clip off the beginning where we sit down <laughs> in front of the camera <laughs> and the end where I go to hit the button, and that's it. That's, that's what you're you getting. Get. Oh, my gosh. So last night, well, we also got some news this week. Yeah. That our remodeling project is going to take about a month longer than planned. And <sighs> So cue the tiny violins. I, I know. But it's so funny because it's the, the thing that is causing it is one banister. Yeah, one stair. One stair banister, and that is it. But it throws off all of the subcontractors mm -hmm. in a way that as they assemble the schedule and there are gaps in the schedule now, it's going to be about a month. And they even tried to see if they could get the banister made yeah. At a mill somewhere and no, no go. Um, so that was a little disappointing. Yeah, and the whole history of the property was it took us 13 months to be able to buy it. Yeah. And that was an odyssey in its own right because it was under contract with somebody else and there were court cases and we had to sit on the sideline mm -hmm. and, and wait for it to creep through a, a court system that was backlogged due to a previous sickness that had swept the country and the world. Mm -hmm. So um, it just feels like every phase of this has been 
uh, always delayed, always This house has its slow. own timeline. Yeah. What is, is that Lord of the Rings with the trees? The Ents, yeah. And do they have a really slow timeline yeah, or something? Yeah, they don't want to be too hasty. Right. Well, this property has oaks that are hundreds of years yeah. old. They're huge. And so I think that those oaks are sort of driving the timeline on this. Yeah, they thing. control the energy of the property, and it is a slow, <laughs> slow pace. It is. But as, I mean, obviously, we are typically a carnivore channel. Yes, we are. <laughs> and so after our family get together, which had snacks, but I didn't have the dairy cubes. <laughs> we were hungry and we said, let's just go to Culver's local fast food place and get burger patties. Mm -hmm. And we go in and the, the kid behind the counter that wants to take our order looks like he's 10 years old. He really did. I mean, I know people tend to say that as they get older, oh, but I mean, he literally looked he was so small. He was so small. <laughs> there was no sign of any peach fuzz on this no, face. No, he was. He, <laughs> he was he, cute and, kid. and so I'm like, I need four burger patties, nothing else. And he's like, I'm. <laughs> he's like, I've been here three hours. <laughs> and he does. <laughs> yeah. So I said, Do you need to ask for help? He's like, Yeah. I'm like, go on. <laughs> and so he, the first person he asks is, is like, um, hmm. <laughs> I've seen it done. I've seen it done. <laughs> and then they wanted to do a hamburger no bun, but she would not allow that. We, I've allowed it in the past, but I am done. I am done. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Especially yesterday. Why are you done? It's expensive. Because they charge you for a whole burger. Right. And, and we know that this particular chain does do a la carte patties. So it took, it took a village to figure it out <laughs> with their computer system. Well, and this is a Saturday night, yeah. so there are no adults on premises. Yeah. Like, the manager or something, it's pretty much run by the teens. So, and then because it was a special order, it took forever, but, oh, I was so hungry. Oh. I put those away and I was like, I could eat four more of those but easily. if any of you are in the Midwest area where there's Culver's, mm. here's what you do. We, because we asked, okay. you're like, you asked. I forgot already. <laughs> they have to go to a la carte condiments, special instructions, add protein. Okay. Now you can instruct the Culver's people how to help you with like Culver's your order. Culver's eleven-year-old. Yeah, <laughs> he was really uh, cute and sweet. Everyone was, everyone was nice. I have to say yeah. they weren't acting put out or anything, so that was nice. <laughs> but with the, um, I was pretty. I mean, I was obviously tired and and um, hot from the day, but I was, I felt pretty mind blown by total just absorption in, in news and, and the, the, the fog of war of misinformation and new information and implications and, you know, my head's spinning. And it would have been so easy to have gotten ice cream because Culver's is known for frozen custard. Mm. And uh, I wanted it. We didn't even discuss it, though. Like, we didn't even no, bring it up. I didn't put it on the table no. because I just have, you know, I'm like on week four or something of narrowing down my diet and getting good benefits. And so the downside of, of cheating on that was outweighed the stress impulse for mm -hmm. me. Yep. Now, today, it's been another <clears throat> bit of a challenge because I was, I've been tired and just felt like, oh, it would be so easy just to have something comforting. Uh, but I had burger patties for lunch. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I have for dinner since I've got to cook for myself. Yeah, <laughs> there's leftovers in there, but I know oh, you're yay. not a fan of those. No, I knew I needed, I knew I needed beef last night, so that was pretty easy for me. And I knew I needed beef today. Yeah, and that was pretty easy. No, no problem there at all. But I mean, it's the fact that life happens. There's, it has its own roller coaster uh, quality to it, even when you're happy most of the time yeah. in carnivore bliss. And uh, it does challenge the diet 
in those days more than other days. It does. So if you have dealt with that challenge and whether you've succeeded or failed, we'd love to hear in the comments mm -hmm. because other people benefit by seeing that. And if you have a particular technique that you use when those stresses start to make you want to stray, uh, what do you do? How do you handle it? How do you divert yourself back and stay on course? Or do you just say, you know, I can, I can handle this one cheat meal and then I'm going to be right back on it. And are, can you do that successfully? Which we have done sometimes. Yeah, we have done. I just, I'm on such a roll. I, w I yeah. well, I'd had so much dairy. Yeah. <laughs> I think, but a bad move. I think part of the problem was that uh, I did that leg workout. Mm -hmm. Was that yesterday? Uh, no, you the did day, not do any workout no, yesterday. that was the day before yesterday. It was such a hard leg workout. And uh, the, uh, each morning, I generally weigh myself. This morning, I bent over to move the scale. And I stopped halfway. It was like, I can't. I can't. My legs are so sore. <laughs> I don't care what I weigh. <laughs> I'll do it tomorrow. So here I am taking a nap, and you're not weighing yourself. Oh, It's I, crazy town. <laughs> <laughs> I did take a nap. You did take a nap I, as well. I needed it. I found some, some YouTube uh, channel and I put it on real quiet so I could just lie back and listen to it. And then if I needed to snooze, I could. Yeah. That's kind of how I do it. So this is our video for today. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And this is life. <laughs> yep. See you next time. Bye.